What's up everyone, my name is Nasser Alaze, aka B-Boy Nas, representing Black Eyes Crew, Bangalore, India and welcome to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be talking about new generation breakers. For those of you who require context, well... Breakers is a term used to identify people involved in the art of breaking, b-boying or breakdancing, but we don't really like to use that term as it was more of a mainstream media term from back in the day that generalized most urban dancers. Breaking, as you may know, is not a very old art form and has only started in the late 70s, so most of the pioneers of breaking and hip-hop are generally still alive. Crazy, right? We call them OGs or sometimes even legends. New generation breakers are basically b-boys that have recently sprung up out of nowhere with superhuman abilities and can fly and do double air flares and all kinds of superhero shh. Sorry, I got carried away there. Anyway, with us today, we have B-Boy Bumblebee representing Outstanding Crew and B-Boy Wildchild representing Beast Mode Crew, Mumbai, India. What's up, guys? How's it going? All good, all good. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am good. So it's really nice to have you guys. And uh, you guys in particular have been like turning heads all around the world on social media or at events or at jams because you guys are super young and explosive and have like such crazy moves and stuff. So uh, I just want to ask you, what are what are some of the things that inspire you in your breaking? A lot of things, you know, inspired me to be here, you know, like my family. I always train with my friends, you know, like they are my family now, you know. Yeah, we motivate each other. We train hard. I always thought one thing that, you know, inspire and be inspired. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, crew crew and family are really important for sure. Yeah, really. Yes, that's all my dad. It's how I became uh, to breaking. In late 90s, early 2000s, my dad was uh, one of the founders of breaking in my city. He had the uh, nice. first breaking school here and uh, 200 students. At this time, I was born in 2000 years. And uh, in 2002, uh, he finished doing breaking because, you know, in these uh, times, breaking was like a fashion. It was not uh, serious. And he already had uh, me, family, business, and uh, he finished. So in 2004, when I was uh, four years old, I started uh, gymnastics, sport gymnastics, because my parents wants that I uh, had a good physical form. And my mother wants that uh, I become to Olympic champion in gymnastics, you know? Oh, no. My dad uh, had uh, another plans for me, plans to make me a b-boy. And uh, when I was eight years old, I didn't like gymnastics, but I really liked uh, break. Uh, that's why I finished gymnastics and uh, after world cr crisis in 2008, my uh, parents opened their own dance studio where starts uh, my first practice. From this moment, my eyes uh, lit up and uh, I started practice uh, seriously hard. And uh, from this time, I had uh, many teachers, but the most important uh, mentor for me is my dad. It's not about uh, only about breaking, it's about uh, son-father relationship. And he gave me a lot. I speak not about money, I speak about himself. And of course, I loved uh, breaking for freedom, for uh, cool moves, for yeah. music. But uh, the most important motivation for me and inspiring is uh, these relationships. And when I compete, I always remember it. That's awesome to hear that, like, you know, we all have either that something or that someone in our lives to, like, really motivate uh, us to, like, to keep going. And uh, mm -hmm. it's funny for me because it was my ex-girlfriend because she told me that I suck <laughs> at dancing and... Uh, I was like, oh, really? Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to prove you wrong. And then I started breaking and that's how I found breaking. I know it's a messed up story, but let's move on. <laughs> I just wanted to find out, like, what is the most iconic battle for you? Like, For me, it was a combination 2016. It's one of the biggest event in Russia and it was a power move nomination. So I prepared uh, so hard for this event, but... I thought uh, that I will only pass uh, selection and that's it. And I come into combination. For me, it's maybe, yes, first big event like this. And I see a lot of strong uh, b-boys, for example, Gypsy. Gypsy was a favorite of this nomination. And in first battle, I uh, won Gypsy. After this, I go to, to the final and take uh, second place. And after this, for me, it was like level up. Next events for me was easier. After this, I get my name. People from all Russia knows uh, about Bumblebee. 
Ah, nice. That's awesome. That sounds crazy. Wild child. For me, my hardest battle was, you know, like very hyped in Taiwan, you know, undisputed qualifiers. And that mm-hmm. was my like best battle ever, you know. And I was like very happy, you know. I was in top eight. That was my first international solo event. And I couldn't make it to the final. But, you know, like I learned a lot of things. And now I'm working on it, you know, like doing something that, you know, I couldn't do it and that event was you know crazy crazy vibes you know everyone like oh wild yeah. child you are the wild child that spin ah you and i i did like four spin in that battle and everyone went crazy and they were like oh shit and i hope like i'll go next year and i'm going to win it <laughs> yeah for sure mm-hmm. but this this was the same battle that was uh, that went viral everywhere right yeah yeah Yeah. yeah, it was all over mm-hmm. everyone's every single B-boy page that there was. It was just yeah, like everyone's yeah. posting that. That was the same battle. I think you battled uh, Jilu as well. Yeah, Jilu, yeah. Yeah. In top yeah, 16, yeah. like I battled Jilu and after that top, in top 8 I battled Mighty Jim from Greece. Yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember that. That's that awesome. Was like, that was really hype. Yeah, that was super yeah, hype. I saw that and yeah. I was just like yeah. <laughs> It was nuts. All right, moving away from that, uh, I just wanted to get you guys is like take on how social media has become such a big thing now, and a lot of breakers are moving into social media. Like from Rocks, right, starting off his YouTube channel a couple of years ago and and vlogging all all of his training and his his um, trips and his travels and stuff. To now people doing like shorter, uh, more fun videos to popular music on like different social media accounts and handles. So I just wanted to do, like to get your perspective on like what do you think social media is doing for the B- for the B-boys and is it helping or not or just your your take on it Bumblebee I think now it's uh, 50% of B-boys so if you don't have social media account for example Instagram I think you can be a successful uh, B-boy you can but it's too hard because we live in 2020 and already in 2017 instagram helps me to go to my first uh, international battle uh, silverback open because uh, cross yeah. one so uh, my video in instagram uh, where i did real one handed to 2000 and yeah. he showed this video to organizer uh, of silverback and they invite me nice. and now in 2020 it's time of social media now we came up with prank that uh, where i jumped into people yes 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 yeah. and uh, this video was in all instagram and after this i understand that uh, i need to do more it's easy to to make because uh, yeah. all you need is a phone now everybody have a good camera in uh, phone yeah yeah that's very true easy. yeah i think i saw that backflip video as well you used to go and like backflip behind people in front of people and stuff yeah it was that was pretty mm-hmm. awesome yeah 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 wild child what about you yeah social media is very important for the people boys you know like we can you know like show something we we got you know good talent so you know i posted a lot of videos and it helped me you know like everyone like you know messaging me uh, yo you from india we never expected indian b boy can come here you know like very far This year in 2020, I was traveling uh, seven countries. You know, like I got invitations oh. through that uh, Taiwan event and uh, my social media. Something, but like you never know yeah. who's watching, because like there can yeah. always be someone yeah. who's watching who can give you some more work. It could be a brand, yeah. it could be like a, an event organizer, a promoter, whatever it is. It's always really important. Mm-hmm. In the line of work that I'm in now, I'm also a YouTuber, so I know how important that is. <laughs> right now <laughs> yeah 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 but yeah talking about like 2019 and how you guys like had a crazy run of like crazy events and stuff and now coming yeah. to the famous 2020 where there's nothing going on uh how do you guys keep yourself motivated and how do you guys keep yourself fit like what's happening with that everything that happened here in a world and i was like oh shit you know i don't have good place you know to practice i can't go out that i said No, like for me it was a very difficult and i was you know i was just thinking you know like i want to do it because this is my passion you know this is what i like you know this is my life you know breaking 
so i did a uh, like i i buy a you no know, like roller and every workout stuff i you know learn a lot of things like a small like it, my house is very small like you you can't even straight your legs you know and i was like yo my stride is very big and huge i i can't i train a little bit foot works you know i was going seven countries and i couldn't make it you know this year yeah and yeah it was like it oh shit i wanted to go you know like i'm still training in andheri where i stay now everything is yeah. normal like becoming normal so i can go out to the in the park and i can train with my crew you know i can train with my friends so now it's getting better you know it's too it's too tough for us you know like for b boys exactly yeah <laughs> training in small spaces me, yeah. as well help you help you like yeah. develop your yeah. style more and like yeah. break things in the house so i saw the video of you breaking yeah. some thing in the back and stuff yeah so yeah <laughs> yes, but it yes, it yes. helps in some way that's awesome <laughs> Pumbu B what about you I was uh, lucky because uh, I have different situation I uh, have place for practice our dance studio but I practice alone and uh, okay. then I always practice alone and I can do this yeah. so it's okay I think ne- next year will be uh, like like a boom all be boys hungry for next year yeah yeah everyone's everyone's practicing like crazy everyone's putting out practice videos every single day So uh I can't wait to see what's going to happen soon. Uh just one more thing uh just as an addition. If you had like some some words to say to the to the generation that comes after you, if you had some words yeah. of inspiration for them, what would you say? Just keep going, you know, like you can do it. Everything is possible. So yeah. Yes, believe in yourself 100%. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I always say that hip hop saved my life and hip hop is one of the best things yeah. that's ever happened to me because it's a culture, it's a brotherhood where we're all together. There's no discrimination whether it's gender, race, creed, color, whatever it is. We don't care about that. Everyone's all about peace, love and having fun and that's what we do. Yeah. So with that note, thank you guys. Thank you Wild Child. Thank you uh Bumble Bee. Yeah. And thank you. really hope to see you soon killing it. It's some jams and uh, Uh, bye guys and be safe